What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Saint Snow. Yes, indeed, how about that? Saint Snow making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Sabo Metal, and Sabo Metal wanted to see me react to this song by Saint Snow called Believe Again. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always the possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Hold it, I recognize this. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Nanaka Suwa, okay? And the video has 34,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Saint Snow, believe again. It'd just be nice if there was a hyphen or something there just to separate the two. Anyway, that's just me being critical of grammar, I guess. Or at least proper punctuation. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Really low in the mix. Hear the bass well.
I don't get it. I don't get it. All right. Let me rephrase that. I get it. I get it. I understand it. But I don't understand how it looks like there's well over, you know, probably 40 to 50,000 people in the crowd. That's the part I don't get. <sighs> Here's what I'm seeing. Okay. Now, I don't know how accurate this is. I'm basing all of this completely on what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing for the very first time. Okay. You got two idols who are on stage working in sync with animation in the background. So when the animation moves, they move with it. Okay. Let's be clear those are not avatars. They're, they're not, it's not like they move and what they do is translated into animation in the back. No, there's no sensors, there's no bobbles, okay? It, they're, no, they are, they are going and moving along with in sync to animation, okay? With their, with their choreography. Now, is that impressive? I, I guess, to some extent, sure. I mean, it, it's all choreography. Uh, and what's worse, they have monitors. <laughs> These two things right here, one over here, one over here, those are monitors. They're seeing what's on the screen. So that way they can watch the screens that are right in front of them using their peripheral vision, and they can make sure their movements are right with what's going on with the screen behind them, okay? Some people might call that cheating. I, I kind of see their point. I see it more as taking everything they can and doing everything they can to make sure that they're doing the best performance possible. Okay, it's just like singers using lyrics uh, or using uh, scrolling lyrics on a on a monitor. Lots of musicians do that. Nothing wrong with it. When you listen, when you have to remember and you're performing 20 plus songs, the last thing you want to do on stage is forget the lyrics. Okay, I, I got no issue with people using monitors. I, I've never had a problem with it. Um, but I just I don't get this. I really don't. The music is, believe it or not, I'm actually enjoying the music, the instrumental. It's nice. The guitar tone is, sounds good. The bass is coming through in the mix very clearly. The drums are nice. The track usage, I mean, let's be clear. There's no band. So everything we're hearing is, is, is track, okay? But the track's nice. I like the track. Um, the singing. It's all right. I mean, I'm not going to say the singing is impressive, but it's okay. Uh, it, they're singing, for the most part, they're singing in tune, but they're staying within pretty much a single octave. They're not moving around very impressively. They're not hitting any high, you know, highly impressive registered notes. Um, the choreography is clean, sure. I just, I will never understand the appeal of this. Like, yeah, and I know people are going to go, well, you like Baby Mel. You're darn right I like Baby Mel because, number one, they play with a live band. There is a live band playing with them. And there's no vid screens. <laughs> that's, that, that seems to be their whole gimmick is they're, they're, they're doing their choreography in sync with animated you know, avatars up on a screen. I, I just I don't understand this. I really don't. And I don't think I'll ever be a fan of this genre. I just, I don't see it happening. So anyway, um, let's, let's, let's get back into this. It's really low too. It's not very loud.
I do not understand. Well, I'm out, guys. If this is what's cool now, I think I'm done. I no longer have any connection to this world. I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Goodbye, friends. I just do not understand. And, and to, to some extent, it absolutely frustrates me. It really frustrates me. I just don't get it. Uh, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Saint Snow with Believe Again. This was a request from Sabo Metal. I don't get it. I, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand this world anymore. I really don't. I don't understand how we have all these bands, whether they're signed artists or not, whether they have record label support or not. We have all these very talented bands that are writing some fantastic songs. They're able to perform well. They're able to have a, a nice live show and they're able to play the songs well. The songs are well written, well constructed, and they can barely for some reason, barely fill a 500 seat to a thousand seat theater. At the same time, you have acts like this where they are selling out arenas. I, I don't know if I want to be a part of this world anymore. I, I really don't. I, I, I just, if- Well, I'm out guys. If this is what's cool now, I think I'm done. I no longer have any connection to this world. I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Goodbye, friends. I seriously don't get it. I do not understand how this can be so popular. This can be so popular to the point where you're filling out arenas and stadiums, and yet you got super talented. I'm not going to mention any names, but you got super talented bands who have a hard time selling out a thousand seat theater that have more talent in their pinky than groups like this have in their entire body. I just do not understand. I do not get it. <sighs> Having said all that, I, I cannot believe I'm giving this score. I cannot believe I am giving this score. I'm, I'm looking at the score and I'm questioning myself. Am I sure about that score? Are you serious? And the honest to God answer is yeah, but looking at this objectively, I'm I'm serious. On a scale of one to 10, and believe me folks, this is not a typo. This is honest to God, this is the score I think this deserves. I'm giving this a 6.1. Yeah, 6.1. Believe me, <laughs> nobody is more shocked at that score than I am. But believe it or not, folks, that is the score that I feel this deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, a 6.1, what does that mean? Well, Believe it or not, I think this was pretty good. I mean, it, it really was. I can't believe I'm saying that. But from an object, purely objective standpoint, I think this was pretty good. It deserves three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. So there you go, a 6.1, pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars and a B minus letter grade. Now. How did I, how in the world did I come up with this score for this? <laughs> so glad you asked. I want to be very clear on my stance on acts like this that do not utilize live bands. And it's literally a bunch of girls, whether it be two girls, three girls, five girls, eight girls, 12 girls, whatever the case may be, I want to be very clear that I'll, I will never, ever be a fan 
of acts like this. It's literally American Idol. It's literally whatever country, fill in the blank, got talent. It's literally X Factor. You have a couple of vocalists slash choreographer dancers going out and now, whether they're singing live or they're lip syncing really doesn't matter to me because there's no live band back there. Now, that is a double-edged sword. And this is part of the reason why the score is as high as it is. Could they have taken actors and put them on the stage and have them pretend to play? Absolutely. That to me would have been far more insulting. That to me would have been far more fake. At least they're going out there admitting to everybody that they are using purely tracks. I, I have to respect that. I do. I may not be a fan of it. I would much rather have a live band back there, but if I have to choose between having a bunch of actors back there pretending to play or having nothing back there and making it very obvious that they were using tracks and tracks alone, I, I, I'm gonna take the latter. I am. I, I think the first choice would be far more insulting to the viewers, far more insulting to the people who pay their hard earned money to come to the show. At least this way, the people coming to the show, they know what they're paying for. They know they're walking into this. They know there's not gonna be a band. They know it's gonna be two girls on the stage singing or lip singing. I'm not 100% sure about that part. Uh, I believe they're singing live. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive they are. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they're singing live. They're going to see a singing and dancing act. There is no band back there. People know this. They pay their money knowing this. They attend the show knowing this. There's no surprises, okay? And so, looking at the product, looking at what is being given on the stage, it's pretty, I hate to say it, but it's pretty good. Um, the vocals, I'm not gonna sit here and say they're impressive, but with considering the fact they're doing all the choreography and it doesn't sound like they're winded, I'll, I'll give them that, I'll give them that. When they were singing, I would say about 98% of what they were singing was in tune. Every once in a while, it sounded a little bit out. Now, is that because they were singing out of tune with each other or were they singing out of tune to the backing track? Uh, were, were there vocals in that backing track? I don't know. I don't know if there were vocals in the backing track or not. I'm going to assume that there aren't. And the two of them just every once in a while would be out of tune with each other. It happens. If anything, it just furthers the case of they're singing live. So it's just another piece of evidence. Um, the, the track, believe it or not, I was digging the track. The guitars, the bass, the drums. Simple, yes, very simple. Nothing impressive about that track, but the energy was nice, the drive was nice, the groove was nice. There was definitely some heavy elements in there. It felt good, and I enjoyed the track. Uh, the choreography, mm, I mean, I've seen better choreography. Number one, first, the first band that comes to mind is Baby Metal. I've seen far more impressive, far more intricate uh, choreography than what we saw here. But the choreography that was done was done well. It was done clean. Yeah, they have monitors in front so they can watch and watch for their cues and stuff. But you know what band doesn't do that? You know what what big bands don't use monitors? What even if it's just for lyrics? What bands don't? You know most bands do. So uh, that's not a criticism. I just it, it's just it, it's just another factor for the live show. Um, I was just not a fan of this, but at the same time, I let, let, let's look at the live performance. Okay, let let's go down the checklist here. All right, let and this is. This is ultimately what put this up into the sixes, was going down this checklist. Stage presence, check. Yeah, they, they definitely have stage presence. They make their presence known. Stage energy, check. Yeah, it's, it's all choreography, but that's movement in motion. That's what I've always looked for in a live performance is movement on stage. 
They have it. Stage energy, check. Stage interaction, check. Yeah, they're doing a lot of interacting with each other with their choreography, so I gotta give it to them. Crowd interaction, here's the big one. Did they have crowd interaction? Yeah, they did. Uh, pat, a little past halfway, that when they came down the runway, they were they were they were chained to the crowd. They were interacting with the crowd, getting the crowd hyped up, asking the crowd leading questions. That is crowd interaction, and I have to give them the check for it. Showmanship, check. Yeah, the showmanship was there. They put on a nice show. Production, <laughs> check. Yeah, they had production. They had the they had the screens. They had the animated characters up on the screens. Um, and they were following their choreography along to the animation. They were right in sync. That's that's production and that's showmanship. So believe it or not, they didn't check off all five boxes. They, they they checked off all six. And I did that help the score? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We were I, they it brought them out of the fives up to six point one. In closing, will I ever understand this? No. I, I will never understand this. I, I don't get it. it. It'd be one thing if it was like baby metal and they had a live band back there actually playing the music, not pretending, but really playing the music. That would be one thing. I would I would probably enjoy this more if there was an actual live band that we could see on the stage playing live with the girls. That'd be one thing, but we didn't have that. We had tracks. There was no band on the stage, uh, and we had the two girls, and, and that was literally it. And somehow they fill out and sell out an arena slash stadium, while other bands that are far more talented have a hard time filling thousand seat theater. I do not understand why. It just works. It just fucking works. I will never understand why. But there's no denying, looking at this objectively, despite my own personal feelings, I can't stand this. I, I like the track, but the overall product, I'm just not a fan of. But there's no denying that this is a pretty good job overall. So that's why they're getting the pretty good score of 6.1. <clears throat> so, huh, before I depress myself any further here, Let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 6.1, which is a pretty good scale rating, three out of five stars, and a B minus letter grade. Believe me, folks, I can't believe it either, but that's where we're at. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.